The Wellness Hour, an in-depth discussion with today's top physicians and medical leaders. And now, your host, Randy Alvarez. You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, how to improve your health naturally. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Dirk Cancilia. Dr. Cancilia, welcome to the program. Hi, Randy. Nice to be here. Now, uh, before we get into today's topic, uh, and I said you're an expert on the topic. Correct. And, uh, you know, in, in all my shows, I try not to endorse the doctors, and truly this is not an endorsement, but you're one of these guys, like you said, you, I mean, you've been studying this for about 30 years. About 30 years, yeah. I started uh, out in high school just reading nutrition books and was participating in athletics and just kind of grew from there, went into college, played football at the University of Colorado. Uh, got more Randy more, good there? Pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> had a couple right. of injuries, but, you know, uh, okay. I worked through it and I loved, I loved football and I loved the sport. But I got into weightlifting because of that, those two injuries, actually, in the rehabilitation mode more. Yeah, and that suit, you can't tell, but you are really a fit guy. I love to work out and I try to practice what I preach, definitely. You know, okay, it good. It makes it better for patients, of course. You know, one of the things that uh, I, I also like about you, we're talking in the green room over there, and you yeah. say that, that, that I don't think with chiropractic, that it's the cure-all to everything. No. Expand on that. Absolutely not. Well, it's great. Because I meet chiropractors like yeah. that, and I don't, uh, you know, you know, I don't know, right. you know what the... Well, it's great for certain conditions, and for some conditions, it's just not really effective. I mean, there's a place for traditional medicine. There's a place for alternative health care. Okay. There's no doubt. Not one thing just encompasses every patient. It just doesn't work that way. But you say you don't want to keep them going there forever as well. I don't like treat patients treating forever. I mean, I, I don't think that's a sign of a good doctor. I think what I, you need to do is set out goals, the patient and the doctor combined, uh, get a treatment plan organized, find out if you meet those goals, and then maybe periodic checkups or rechecks, depending on what you have going on. But the key is, is make sure the patient on the type of treatment we do with chiropractic and alternative health care and, and blood-based nutrition is they can monitor themselves and they can kind of continue on themselves. All right. Now, in, uh, you're in Rancho Bernardo. Correct. And you have two centers in one place. Correct. We have different types of patients that come to us. Sometimes it's patients that just have a back problem and uh, maybe it's an auto accident they had or a sports injury. And you take and insurance just, for those kind of things? Of course. Okay. Of course. And they just want to get treated for that condition. So we treat them for that and they kind of go on their way. But there's a big, big part of our practice that comes out from patients that want more. You know, these are executives, these are head of households, these are people that have to be on top of their game. Um, these are moms that are juggling three and four kids and running the husband's life and career. Okay. So we have to keep them sharp. And so that's the type of patient we see coming to us looking for alternative measures. Okay. So let's begin then with your typical patient that wants that alternative health. Take me through that process. I think it's predominantly more women than men. Okay. It's probably between the ages of 30 and 55 years of age. It's somebody who, uh, characteristically, there's a lot of fatigue. There's a lot of insomnia. They just don't feel right, and they want to feel better, you know, and they come to us with a whole variety of uh, situations or symptoms that are occurring. So with these people, by the way, backing up for a second, you say right. they come to you, they want to feel better, they're executives, et cetera. Correct. Uh, results. Do you see turnarounds, like we major see, turnarounds in your Definitely practice? we see a lot of results. I mean, we see results within weeks to months, depending on the patient's condition and the complexity of their condition. Um, you know, and really, a doctor is only good if they have a good patient. So a lot of times, I don't give myself credit, I give the patients credit, because they followed the outline treatment program, they participated, and they continue through with it, and that's what gives them results. I mean, it's a comprehensive program. Definitely. I mean, I've looked at it. Definitely. But what about those people that are, that are watching this, and they say, okay, you know, even though you have a medical degree, Correct. but you're... I guess it's not licensed here in California. Correct. But uh, if they say, well, he's a chiropractor, is this your place to be treating all of these diseases associated with aging? Well, I think it's an ideal place to be treating them because most of these patients come to us because they don't want medication. They want alternative forms of care. Okay. And you know, I can't just, you know, adjust their back or treat a muscle skeletal problem without addressing inflammation, edema, and any other problems that may be going on. So that's why I kind of went into the alternative medicine. It just makes a much more complete fit for the patient. So let's begin with your health program. Uh, you know, okay. what, can, what, what can people expect on day one? And let's just pick a number. 45 years old, they're feeling lousy. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, they come in, we have a very detailed consultation with the patient. Um, uh, and, you know, we try to find out exactly what their goals are, what they're looking to achieve here. I mean... Uh, what do you ask them? You meet with them? Uh, meet with them. We'll go over, review all their symptomatology, review their past medical history, uh, talk to them about what they're trying to achieve and what they want to achieve and accomplish what with do their they healthcare say? now. Uh, the biggest portion of it is that patients are, want to feel better. 
You know, they just don't want to feel like they have been. They want to feel like they were 10 years ago, okay? And that's the okay. most important thing. And so that's what we try to accomplish for them. We try to set out uh, and establish a treatment program that they can easily follow and adhere to in order to get those results and then carry it on by themselves. Okay, you have a program that's called 10 and 10 or something like Correct. that? Correct, yeah. Tell me about that. That's for patients who want to feel uh, up to 10 years younger in as little as 10 weeks. I mean, that's how quick it can happen depending 10 on the patient. 10 years younger in 10 weeks. Up to 10 years younger in as little as 10 weeks, definitely. And it's very effective. And that's a comprehensive program. It's very individualized, very specialized. It's for somebody who's really committed and wants to get those results. It's a combination of lifestyle, diet, exercise, uh, blood-based nutrition, um, uh, you know, different O2 therapy, oxygen therapy, uh, different type of diagnostic testing, whatever is required to get them to where they need to be. Okay. Let's, uh, and do you have any patients that, that have tried conventional medicine? Nothing against conventional medicine or traditional medicine, medicine I should say, but that they were like like you were the doctor of last resort where they they couldn't figure out what's wrong with them I've and you a, did yeah. i mean yeah, I'll have a number of patients like that. I mean, most of the patients that come to us are very complicated cases. They come because of the exact factors you mentioned. They've tried multiple providers, whether it's chiropractic or traditional medicine, and they end up not getting results. They're still in pain. So, um, you know, we look at them differently. We've, uh, For example, I had a gentleman, he's 51 years of age. Um, he's an executive, runs his own business down in San Diego. Uh, he saw two other chiropractors and one medical doctor was considering back surgery. This is a pure neuromuscular case that we're talking about. And uh, I put him on a course of treatment that I had for him with spinal decompression, some other therapies, and some nutrition. And within eight weeks, he, before that, I should say, that he was riding around in one of those little motorized carts at Home Depot. Okay? okay. He couldn't walk. He couldn't walk more than five minutes. He'd have severe back pain, severe leg pain. After eight weeks, he's walking. He's doing fast-paced walking. I mean, he's, he feels 10 years younger. I mean, there's no doubt about so it. So what would you do that the others didn't do? Well, I think, first of all, I really listen to the patient, but okay. I get them on a program where I not only do maybe spinal decompression for their back or treat their back, but we address the heaviness in his, in his body. He had to drop some weight. Okay. Uh, we address his blood pressure. Like a weight loss program you put him on? Weight loss program, very okay. simple thing to do, not drastic at all. It's just incorporating some simple steps for him to do on a daily basis. Uh, some anti-inflammatories to cut that inflammation that's going on in his body, some natural anti-inflammatories. We use a lot of herbs for that that are from Italy, and it works very, very effectively. Um, and he got great results with that. So with what we did, he's now out of that motorized cart. He's actually walking and moving around. He's, got a, he's back to work 100% of the time. Um, you know, he's got a great relationship again with his family and his friends and his wife. I mean, he was virtually, you know, really had problems at that point uh, when he came to see us. You know, he's like a lot of patients that come and see us. All right. I mean, this is very common to have these complex type of problems come in. Now, he's a pure neuromuscular case that we treated, but we treat, like I said, pure um, alternative health cases. Females, severe menstrual symptoms, you know, uh, she's got severe depression, severe anxiety, has night sweats, uh, can't keep weight on her. I mean, she's in, in bad shape on blood pressure medicine and on antidepressants. After just three months uh, of just putting her on some nice, we ran blood on her, evaluated her nutritional levels okay. of her blood, found out what nutrients she needed, gave her some herbs, put in a specific treatment plan that she needed, and within three months, all that was gone. She was off her blood pressure medicine. Her doctor took her off her anxiety and, and, and uh, depre de really? depression medicine. Okay. Um, and she feels great. You know, so she's moving around. She's functioning at 100% level now and uh, much better than she was before. Okay. Now, you know that we've had, and we've talked about this, that there's certain people that, and we've talked about bioidentical hormones on my show, and that there's certain people that don't want bioidentical hormones. They really want that completely natural Correct. approach. Correct. How do you stack up in your opinion? I mean, can you do the same kind of things? In I your believe opinion? we can. I believe we okay. can. I mean, it's a lot safer what we do, too, because, I mean, um, we, of course, we are not using those external sources, putting in, we're using all natural substances that the body already has inside of it in order to boost it back up. The whole idea is to get that patient's blood. See, most doctors, when they run a blood panel, you're looking at what is considered an optimal range. But those ranges are based off of sick individuals. So what we do is we run blood panels to look for healthy ranges. They're predominantly based off of healthy individuals. It helps them balance their body and get back to where they need to be on a much safer level and all natural. So okay. there's a lot of patients. You're that big just on don't testing, want. by the way. Big on big testing on because work. that's the only way to objectively determine what's going on inside of the patient. For example, on our blood-based nutrition program, the first year we have three uh, lab panels we run. Each panel has over about 140 different indicators that we're looking at, um, and it really helps that patient and balance it. And every time we test, we then remove non-essential 
supplements or vitamins or herbs and add the ones they need. At the end of the first year, they're hardly taking any nutrition at all. They're only taking the really essential ones because we've corrected any deficit they may have had and so balanced their body. So for example? Example would be kind of like a patient who has low vitamin D where they're having fatigue and they're a lot of depression. We'll raise that vitamin D level up and it helps uh, assist with that. Another may be vitamin A, you know, where there's a problem with... Uh, psoriasis, skin issues, and sexual dysfunction. And vitamin A is important with those So not issues. enough uh, testing as far as nutrient deficiencies, you think, in, uh, in traditional medicine? Correct. I just don't think that they're, they just don't lock onto it because they're not trained that way. I mean, with me going through medical school and chiropractic, I know the difference, and I can really readily use that experience. And they just are not trained on a nutritional level. Okay, then you know I'm a skeptic. Yes. And I'm, th and I'm picking up, I'm thinking, okay, there's got to be people that are worried. Okay, I'm going to go there, and he's going to sell me a bunch of supplements. He's doing uh, all of these tests finding nutrient deficiencies, what is your response to that? You know, we only do the tests that are necessary for the patient, okay, okay. first and foremost. Not every patient is put on a canned treatment program. It's really individualized. Uh, the last thing would be is that I really don't care if they get the supplements from me or buy them somewhere else. The idea is to tell them what their body needs, okay? Yeah, because you told me, you told me in the green thing. room that... That, that supplements is not a profit center for you. Right. I mean, you're, you're not trying to do that. It's actually much more difficult for us to dispense them, to be quite honest about it, because it takes a lot more time with the patients. Inventory and things like that. Interesting. Yeah. I'd rather spend my time talking to them about their lifestyle, the nutrition, the blood-based nutrition we run, exactly why they need those supplements that we've run into, and it's indicated on that report. And by the way, they get a 20-page report every time we run blood. So it's very comprehensive. And it's not only blood. Where do they get the blood drawn? We, do, we use LabCorp, one of the largest labs in okay. the country. Every doctor uses LabCorp. We use the same lab, so it's a very uh, competent lab. Um, but it's not only blood work. We also look at hair analysis, which is important. Uh, we look at urinalysis, which is important. We do EKGs, body fat, uh, basal metabolic rate, um, oxygen saturation. So we look at a bunch of now, different I know things. Your, you know, I, I know your prices and, and this comprehensive right. test. And, and probably the, the most famous in the world, uh, a, a center that compares to yours, is in Las Vegas. Correct. And theirs is about probably five times as much. Correct. And uh, so with with yours, you offer financing. Things like, I mean, it's not it's not a lot of money to begin with. Anyway. It's not a lot of money, but okay. there is there is healthcare financing options out there. Um, you know, there's a bunch of different payers. Some of them might be picked up with insurance if they have treatments that are necessary for me to treat them on, and so forth. Most of it is just. What is patient? What the patient actually needs, each individual patient needs. Not everybody's going to require to have blood work. It really depends on the individual. If you had an ideal patient, I mean, who would you like to see more of in San Diego? I mean, what's your message that you can help the best, that in your mind, a quick fix, if I, there's such a thing? You know, well, there's not a quick fix, but I would say that it's a person who really wants to take their health to the next level. They want to give back to themselves. They want to quit feeling fatigued. They want to sleep better. They want to move their health to the next level. Now, uh... With, with, with your program, okay, so they start on day one, and I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting. They come right. in on day one. Right. They just, they don't know what's wrong with them. Correct. What are the protocols? I mean, what, what do you tell them? Well, I mean, sometimes they do know what's wrong with them, but they just don't know what they need to do to correct it. So what okay. we do is we have to just kind of do a detailed consultation, kind of figure out where they want to take it, what they're desiring to get out of their healthcare experience, and what they want to correct or manage or maintain uh, from what standpoint. And we kind of fit it to the patient's individual needs based off of what we see from an exam and uh, the testing that we run if we decide to run testing. So you do... Uh, now, you have a one-year program. In fact, how Correct. many programs do you have? You have two programs? We have, the programs vary just because the patients vary, and you just can't fit patients into each individual uh, program. For example, we have some patients that come in that require one or two treatments, and that's all it is, okay? Other patients where it's a year program because they have more serious health concerns. So it really depends on the patient type that we're getting into our clinic. Okay, so in this year program, describe it to me. The year program for, for the blood-based nutrition is basically a patient gets... Is that the 10 and 10, by the way? That's the 10 and 10. That's what? Give us 10 weeks. Patient gets up to, t feels up to 10 years younger in as little as 10 weeks, okay? Okay. And you have really people that say that? Oh, most definitely. Really? Most definitely, sure. Yeah, okay. without a doubt. We're going to take a quick break. We come back. Uh, I want to really take me uh, through the process uh, again so I'm clear. Okay. And, I, and we watch this is clear. What happens on day one, on the follow-up, how you go over the blood work. Okay. You get a, you, what, 20, 21-page 20 page Print report out. every time. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then how, because it sounds complicated to me. It's so really not complicated. Okay. So let's go over that when we come back. Okay. You're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Uh, we're looking at, uh, in, in literally in Rancho Bernardo, uh, a big following Dr. Cancilia has with people that want to feel better and they want an alternative approach. He has a uh, medical degree and he also is a doctor of chiropractic and he's using alternative therapies to make people feel better. We'll be right back. You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Avers. Today's topic, how to improve your health 
naturally. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Dirk Cancilia. Okay. Now, we should mention, because it's going to say uh, Doctor of Chiropractic uh, next to your name on the, on the show, but you're, you have a medical degree. Correct. Uh, went to a European medical school. Correct. Uh, you do both uh, traditional chiropractic, and you also do, you have this, uh, what alternative, do you call it, alternative, alternative health? Alter, alternative health, yes. And give you 10 weeks and you'll make them feel 10 <laughs> years yeah. younger. Make them feel up to 10 years younger in as little as 10 weeks, yes. Okay, good. Yes. Now, on day one, and, and, and you're into some heavy testing. Okay, let's say I'm a compliant patient, male okay. or female. 45, feel lousy, gaining weight, can't lose weight the way I used to. Every symptom, depression, anxiety, you name it. Okay, well, the, the testing is really not heavy. It's really specific for the, for the patient okay. and for okay. their condition. Um, and the patient would come in, we'd do a consult and examination. They're feeling lousy, you know, they want to feel better. We would order a blood panel. We send them to LabCorp to run the blood. But not a typical panel, you say? No, it's not a typical panel. We look at about 140 different indicators to determine exactly what's going on in their body and how to bring them back up to healthy ranges and balance off their body. So okay. that's ext extremely important from that standpoint. Now, hair for some people? Hair for some people, if we believe that there's type of mineral deficiencies, uh, urinalysis, we believe there's some type of pH problem involved, maybe even a stool sample. If so we you're looking at the body's pH? Look at the body's pH, and we also look at proteinuria to see if there's a lot in the urine because we want to make sure to see how the body is assimilating protein correctly. And if it's balanced, that's the most important thing. The kidneys have to function correctly for your body to, to work correctly. And so that's one of the big key indicators there. So now, okay, so hair, this, this, this blood panel that's about 140 different things, Correct. it does... Uh, Nutrient deficiencies. Correct. What else? What else are you looking for on this test? Uh, all basic functions. You thyroid? Look at white cells, thyroid, red blood cells, a whole host of problems, a whole host of conditions, rather, and indicators. And so that's basically what it does. We may even look at food allergies or sensitivities with the patient, uh, just depending on the individual patient. Okay. So what? after the consultation, the examination, and we run the blood work, we bring the patient back in two weeks when the blood panel's back in, and we make something that's very easy and manageable for their lifestyle. They can follow it very easily. There's a 20-page report that spells out exactly what's going on in their body and why they have a nutrient deficiency and what they need to do to correct it. So give me an example. Okay, so they're back. You okay. have this 20-page uh, report. I mean, you know, what, what is being discussed? Well, what's being discussed is any, all their blood work that came in, they see all their values, they see highs and lows, and they see healthy ranges. And so those highs and lows need to be addressed because that's what's causing an imbalance. And when we balance those, the body functions 100% So better. with your patient population, what's the number one thing? If you had to say, Randy, I see this in 80% in, in, in of my patients or whatever, what is it? What are you seeing on the blood work that they need more of? Well, there's, there's vitamin A, vitamin D, uh, B vitamins. Uh, you know, dealing with executives, they're always under stress, so those are depleted very quickly and, and uh, readily. So those are some of the most common things that we see. But every individual is different, honestly. Some people, they come in, they look relatively healthy. Um, you know, they're thin, they look fit. You run their blood panel, and they've got a lot of indicators on there that something's developing in their body. They need to handle it. Okay. And that's the thing with this healthy level is you determine what is starting to develop in your body, and you stop it immediately and correct it with the nutrition so that way it doesn't develop into a serious condition. Okay, so your typical patient, you go over the report, now you offer a strategy. Okay, we come up with a protocol and a treatment plan that's a strategy for the patient in order to get them feeling better and get them having much more energy, sleeping better, or whatever their condition was. Okay. It's very easy to follow. The report takes them step by step and tells them exactly what's, what is indicated and what nutrients they need. In addition to that, the blood panels that are run, it's really cool, they are uh, color-coded. So it's very easy for the patient to tell. They're not hard to read at all. They'll say high, low, or optimum, or healthy ranges. And that's exactly what it is. It's very easy for the patient to understand. Well, after we put them on the supplements, we would then test them again in another eight weeks okay. to make sure that they're getting benefits and getting those results based off of the nutri nutrients we put them on, lifestyle modifications. How soon do they feel better? Okay, so, so you've done these things, mm -hmm. and uh, even from the hair and the, and the blood work, et cetera, they came in with anxiety, depression, Correct. feeling lousy, overweight. How soon before they get results? Sometimes it's a matter of weeks, but we test within, our second test is within eight weeks, and then we test nine months after that. So usually with that eight-week period, you start seeing a lot of changes occurring. Like? Well, you know, they end up uh, having a lot more energy. You know, they notice a difference in their skin tone. Uh, they notice a difference in their hair and, and the, the, how their hair feels and how they respond to life and handle stress. It's a lot different for the patients. They really, it's a noticeable. Now, do they tell their, uh, I mean, do you get a lot of the family members? I mean, one person comes in, then they bring in the other? A lot of family members and a lot of uh, co-workers, definitely. I mean, those are usually what's referred to us directly all the time. So, as I said, we deal with a lot of executives and a lot of uh, people that have to manage multiple things in their life. And so... Like people refer like people, and you know that's basically what happens. What do here. the patients tell you that they like most about your program? 
they like it. It's individualized and it's personalized. Um, I also only see a certain number of patients a day uh, in order to give good quality patient care and give the, the attention they need for their condition. Um, we also have different policies in our office. For example, uh, on established patients, once they're an established patient of our practice, if they wait longer than 10 minutes, the treatment is free. If they're still hurting their muscle skeletal patient, they come back that same day, the treatment is free again. There's no extra charge. So if you have to wait? Well, longer than 10 minutes as an established patient, the treatment is free. Is that okay? right? I keep my staff hopping. I make sure I stay on track. So people go in hoping you're running behind. <laughs> because it's free. <laughs> they, they I might. would. They might. I hope he's running never late run today. behind because I don't, like I said, I limit the number of patients to see so I can give good quality care. I mean, the initial evaluation and consult with a patient runs an hour to hour and a half. Concentrated okay. face-to-face time with the patient. And then there's a lot of other subsequent treatments that run 30 minutes each time in order to go over things with the patient. So it's, it's very comprehensive but you know, with the patient. No, I found especially because, you know, I feel pretty good and I take supplements and we've talked, but I find a lot of people find it hard to believe, you know, and I'm sure there's, you know, there's thousands of people watching this feel lousy, but they're skeptical. They don't believe it. They're skeptical, but you know, so what do you say to these people? You need nutrients to live. I mean, that's what you're eating food for. But our food sources today are not nearly as good as they were 20 years ago. But this is beyond just giving people supplements. Yeah, it right? is beyond. It's finding out it, ideally what their body needs to balance it. For example, we have a lot of patients come to us and says, well, I take all the supplements I need. Well, how do you know? Have you ever been tested? Do you know you're on the right dosage? How do you know there's not you know, some imbalance even, because of that? You know, I haven't had a nutrient test in about eight years. Eight years, you're due. <laughs> so I need to Definitely. get it. Yeah, because I, mean, I take a lot of stuff. Right. But maybe I'm not absorbing some of it. You might not thought. be absorbing it. You might not need some that you're taking. You might not be in the right dosage. So that's crucial. I mean, a lot of people think that's by doing our blood-based nutrition that it's going to actually make them take more nutrients. It's really not true. It's going to make them take the essential nutrients they need for their body and get rid of the other stuff they're taking that may be the flavor of the month that they pick up at the health food store. So that's what's really important here. Okay. So people in their 70s, 80s are coming to you as well? Because we're talking about the, you know, I kept bringing up the 40-year-old, the 50-year-old, but yeah. you're dealing with older pain patients. We're dealing with a whole host of patients. The bulk of our patients are 30 to 55, but I'd say we do also have some younger patients in that and some older patients in that. What's the hardest thing for you to get people to believe? That they could get better? What is it? It's probably because they can get better because they've been through the mill. Remember I said these are complicated cases that come to us. They've been to many providers and they just don't understand uh, how it's going to work for them when they've tried other things and it hasn't worked. Um, but, you know, they're open to it and they follow it and they, you know, they end up getting gr- uh, great uh, results because of that. What about those people, by the way? And I'm not trying to be devil's advocate too much here. Right. But, you know, they say, okay, I went to an alternative health practitioner. Didn't make that big of a difference. Uh, What's your response to that? And, and, and what are you doing that's any different, really? Well, there's different degrees of alternative health. Alternative health can be can classified as bioidentical hormones, but it also can be classified as somebody who uh, had just blood panel, normal blood panel run. The first thing I'd ask that patient is, do you know what your vitamin D levels are? Good question. Do I you, don't know what mine are. Do you okay. know what your vitamin C, magnesium, and calcium is? Okay. And if they don't, they haven't had the right testing done. And with our testing, we run 140 different indicators to tell you exactly what's going on in your body, and it's very complex. So like mineral deficiencies are picked up with hair? Vitamin saying? and mineral deficiencies, I've never yes. had anybody bring up hair with yeah, me. Yeah, it's important. I mean, you know, in some patients, it's very important. So you can't do it any other way, in your opinion? No, I couldn't do it any other way because, I mean, we get great results. The patients respond, and everything's based off of science that we do. This isn't just some thing that we're throwing at patients. You know, we have a specific treatment program, but there's scientifically-based pr- uh, protocols that we're using to get to those and results. And you're not just going to shove a bunch of supplements down their throat. They can buy them on their own. I, it doesn't matter to me. Because you said, I mean, I mean, we should mention this. I mean, you told me that off camera. You said, it's not about selling supplements. Because whenever I hear, and I have a lot of people right. that want to get on my show to push something, like a multi-level marketing group that I won't interview. Right. Um, but, but uh, you know, you said it's not about supplements. It's really, it's the only way to effectively treat a patient. Correct. You, you, you fix the deficiencies. Right. And they get better. And Plus it's, diet. It exa- goes in their mouth. Exactly. It's not only the nutrients and supplements. It's herbs. It's what they put in their, their mouth, you know, their nut- the uh, food that they're eating, their lifestyle. Um, but what's important here is that the reason it's not about supplements is that I recommend about 50 different supplement companies. Okay. I mean, so there's just no way it's beneficial for me to do that. I mean, it's great for the patient. They have that at their disposal. They can get them on their own, go to the health food store and get them, or they can get what we have in our office. It really is up to do the patient. Do you see yourself as a healer? Most definitely. I think we're getting back to that. I think that we, you know people desire that now. They want that individualized attention, that personalized care, and that's really what I give these patients. And that's what my whole goal is. That's why I only see so many patients per day because I give good quality work and really handle their needs correctly. Now, you're a coach as well. I mean, you say Most that definitely. you get good rapport. I'm their partner with getting them healthy. That's the bottom line. It's a partnership. It's like certain personal trainers. You know, we've talked. Yeah. The great ones are the ones that get you to do it, you know. 
Because yeah. we all know what we have to do. We can't get, you know. But you, I, mean, I don't you, think you'd have any of my patients say that I have a loss of words when I want them to get something to do them to do something. I mean, that's crucial for them to do it. I mean, that's where the results lie. I mean, if they're not motivated, I tell them not to start. Become motivated. Correct yourself. Feel energetic. Feel better. Look what you can be like in the next 10 to 20 years and feel like in the next 20, 10 to 20 years. Do you help them? Do you think it. you uh, light a fire under them? I believe way? so. I hope so. I mean, that's one of the one goal that I have, without a doubt. And that's one aspect I need to do for patients because I've met it's brilliant tough out there. doctors, brilliant guys and gals. Mm -hmm. You know, they say, Randy, you know, and these are brilliant guys. They say, I can't get patient compliance. I can't get them to take my advice. Well, patient compliance is tough, but you know, I sit down with the patients. I'm very uh, instrumental with telling them the importance of them falling through with care. I think that's a doctor's and problem, by the way. It is a doctor's problem. If the problem. doctor can't it's relate a communication to the issue. Okay. Is there it is. And okay, so I try to communicate them with effect effectively, and I seem to be very effective with it because we're getting great results. So 2010 can be their best, can be their best year, year ever, ever, and they can start off into something great here and continue on for 10 or 20 years, definitely. We're out of time. Very interesting. Somebody watching this, again, they feel lousy. They want alternative care. Maybe, maybe they're worried about cancer in their life or they're worried about you know, longevity. What's your message to them? I would tell them to pick up the phone and call the office. Come on in. Let's talk. Let's see what your goals are. Let's see what we can do for you. And let's get a plan of action going and make you feel better immediately. 10 and 10. 10 and 10. Feel up to 10 years younger in as little as 10 weeks. All right. Okay, good. <laughs> good. You believe that? Of course. They tell you that. The Most definitely. Thing. All right. Well, thank you for coming to the show. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Albers. If you would like... To see this interview again, you can go to our website and visit wellnesshour.com. Just put in uh, Dr. Uh, Dirk Cancilia or just Dr. Cancilia or alternative medicine. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.